if i am creating a object to refer a message that is what i will call it as a delegate if i want to declare a delegate i have to use a keyword called delegate we have two different types of delegates so we have single cast delegate and multi cast delegates the class which has got the main function is what i will call as a main class hello everyone i welcome all of you to the yet another interesting session on delegates and events in cash so guys if i am doing your job on behalf of you and i will be called as a delegate right so what are you talking about job yes it's going to be one of the important hot topic in cash if you want to know more about delegates yes you are in the right place so guys without wasting much of your time let's understand what exactly we are trying to discuss so mainly we will be understanding what exactly a delegate is all about that's going to be the first point of the agenda and second thing i will be discussing how do we declare a method of a delegate and how do i declare a delegate and how do i create the instance of a delegate so all those things i will be discussing in detail with all of you with the program let's check what i have so yeah basically so guys before i get into this four important steps let me tell you what is delegates if i am creating a object to refer a message that is what i will call it as a delegate so i repeat i am creating a object all right so what type of object you are creating a delegate object to refer a method so that is what i will call it as a delegate that's what you need to remember so fine we understood that we are creating a reference to a method so fine how exactly we are creating that so that involves four different steps so what is that four different steps the first step that i have is declaration so how do i declare the delegate is the first thing that i need to understand second thing when it comes to the delegate so i should understand how do i define the delegate method is what i need to understand the third thing that i need to remember is all about delegate instantiation how do i initialize the delegate is what i need to remember and also how do i invoke the delegate is our last important point that i need to remember so this four steps if you understand you are done with delegates is what you need to remember all right so guys uh, what is the syntax that i should remember if i want to declare a delegate so i will be explaining all this four topics with the program so it will be very easy for you to understand one single program will give you all this four topics okay let me make it very simple you don't have to read the syntax for each and every one okay let me take up a program and then in that single program i will explain all this topics so before that so let's understand the general syntax to declare a delegate so guys basically the first thing that i have to have is a modifier is a optional uh, that you need to remember so public protected internal so all these things is what i will call it as a modifier so fine then i after that i have to use a keyword called delegate if i want to declare a delegate i have to use a keyword called delegate and always the declaration of the delegate should be in the top of the program i mean like you know before the class declaration you have to declare the delegate is what you need to remember all right then after that you have to mention the return type so in the operator overloading we have discussed the return type so remember so we have to specify the return type after the keyword of delegate is what you need to remember and then followed by you can use the delegate name always whenever you are giving the delegate name you have to follow the identifier rules which we have already discussed so it cannot be a keyword you cannot start with a number you cannot have a special character you cannot have the space in between so all these rules you have to follow whenever you are naming the delegate obviously within the parenthesis you will be having a parameters or argument list is what you need to remember at the end of the statement never forget to give the semicolon so this is the syntax to declare a delegate so fine sir we understood the syntax right how many parts we have 1 2 3 4 and 5 remember this okay so guys when it comes to the types of delegates we have two different types of delegates so we have single cast delegate and multi cast delegates so in today's session i will be discussing so what exactly i will be discussing single cast delegates so let's take a program and understand what exactly single cast delegate is all about and how do we 
declare how do we define the method how do we initialize or instantiate or how do we invoke the delegate is what we are trying to understand with the program my dear students let's check so one program five concepts so what is that first concept is all about how do i declare a method second concept how do i define the delegate third concept how do i instantiate fourth concept how do i invoke fifth concept single cast delegates so one program five concepts let's save a lot of time so let's check what i have here so this is what i have today all right so guys you all know that we are using uh, the namespace that is system so i don't have to speak about it and observe here so the first line what i have after the namespace that's going to be the declaration of the delegate so as i told you i cannot uh, make it mandatory to use the modifier that is public private protected intent so i don't have to make it more mandatory so i'm not using it here so you need to observe that and then after that i'm using a keyword called delegate then after that can you please identify what is that i have i have the return type as int int in the sense it returns some value is what you need to understand followed by i have the name of the delegate so that's what you need to remember so guys arithmetic operations is what uh, i will call it okay because i i cannot just pronounce it as arth op okay so let me call it as a arithmetic operation what is the name of the delegate arithmetic operation is what i will pronounce now all right so after that i have two parameters in x comma in y is what you need to remember so fine at the end of the statement please observe i have the semicolon so this is how we declare the delegate so can you all tell me what is a name of the delegate yes it's going to be the arithmetic operator so fine we are done with the declaration of the delegate then followed by i have a class so i have a class declaration so using a keyword called key class then followed by i have the class name math operation so after that observe i have taken a method so which i am going to define so this is how we define the delegate method so guys public static the two keywords should be there then followed by the return type and the name of the method add is the name of the method is what you need to remember so public static keywords should be there then followed by the return type and then name of the method is add and followed by you have the parameters so inside the method so i have a plus b so i'm just performing the addition of two numbers and i will return the value so because my return type is in here that's what you need to remember cool so hope you understood the syntax to define a delegate method right so same way i just uh, have uh, the one more method with a like you know the name is different that is sub and i'm performing a subtraction in this method that's a, a quite simple method to understand so that's this is the thing now that you need to concentrate is what i would like to tell all of you at this point of time right so public static int is a return type and the sub is the name of the method that we have this is how we define the methods so fine you understood declaration you understood how do i define then coming back okay observe here i have a main class main class in the sense what's up so the class which has got the main function is what i will call as a main class why do we have this main class why should i have this up because the execution of the program always starts from the main function is what you need to remember so fine all right so i have studied only two concepts right so now the third one observe here delegate instances i need to create the instances for the delegates which i have created i've created right so how do i uh, create the instance what is the syntax for that it's very simple and easy so if you have uh, an experience of creating an object i think it will be pretty easy for you to create the instance of a delegate a slight difference that you need to notice it here so what is this arithmetic operation arithmetic operation is the name of the delegate that we have created cool so we have created that then after that so observe here the name of the instance which i am trying to create is operation 1 then followed by i am using the keyword called new which allocates the memory for the instance which i am creating so fine for this operation 1 from where exactly i am getting the memory so from new that's what you need to remember so fine after that again i'm using arth op arithmetic operation that's what you need to observe so i'm using a constructor then within the parenthesis guys what is this math operation math operation is the name of the class which i am using 
math operation dot add so observe here math operation dot add so in the beginning in the first slide we have discussed delegate will create the reference to the method so here i am creating the reference with the help of the delegate so delegate will create the reference to the method this is how i am creating the reference to this method is what you need to remember this concept is what i will call it as a delegate all right so this is how we have the definition so please understand that same way i am trying to create the operation 2 so operation 2 is the second instance of the delegate and uh, there is no nothing new in this we have just used the keyword called new you all know that new keyword is used to allocate the memory for the instance that we have and followed by art op i can also call it as a constructor a parameterized constructor so i'm using math op dot sub i'm creating the reference for this method all right with the instance 2 that is operation 2 so fine i have created the delegate instance now invoking the delegate how do i call it how do i invoke it so observe here i have uh, used the instances that is operation 1 and i'm passing the values 200 and 100 so 200 goes to a 100 goes to b that's how i'm passing the values once I pass the values, the value will be returned from this method. Okay, this value will come to the result one and this value will come to the result two is what you need to remember. Then finally, I will print it with the help of the print statements. So this is how the declaration, definition, instantiation and invoking of a delegate is happening with respect to the multicast delegate. So guys, I think uh, this is pretty simple to understand and I made it easy is what I feel. So guys, if you have liked it, so don't forget to click on the like button. Stay tuned for the next topic that I have in the delegate still in. Take care. Bye-bye.